Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we're going to do some Christmas crafting tonight with some yarn. Um, say hey once you get on, and if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Um, there's some people hopping on. We're going to do some stuff with some yarn tonight. Something I've been kind of working on this week, and because I wanted to try it, and um, I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing. Hey Nancy! Y'all say hey once you get on. Hey, Melanie. How are y'all doing? Hey, Heather. I feel so much better today. Last night, I was a hot mess. Hey, Nancy. Thank y'all for sprinkling. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway tonight. So, I'm going to give away one of the things that I am um, I'm making tonight. And then I'm going to give away one of these little um, hot glue things that we use. They're actually mask applicators but they work wonderful for doing the little hot glue hey kelly so i'm gonna be giving away one of these and one of one of what uh, i'm making tonight because i've made a few this week i've been trying it <clears throat> trying to get it i wouldn't say perfected but <laughs> trying to get it down to uh an art i guess thank you glenda for sprinkling and carol for sprinkling hey carol okay so what we're gonna do and you may have already seen this um it's going around i've been seeing it for years I've not ever actually done it. Um, it it's on TikTok. It's kind of going viral on TikTok. Thank you, Susie, for the stars. Hey, Annie. Um, and so I decided I was going to do it because I kind of made one and I kind of got a little addicted to it. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you, hey, Elizabeth, that it is going to be addicting. Okay. So once you make one, you're going to have a whole army of them. Okay. So we'll give, <laughs> give that disclaimer up front. And y'all, I got yarn fuzz in my mouth. Thank you, Dolores, for the stars. Um, oh, thank you, Bobby. You should have seen me last night. I was a hot mess. I, my allergies, I had that garbage bag in here Thursday during my live, and it just set me on fire. And they are the whole box is actually sitting in my garage like, like right now because I was like, I'm getting this out of the house because all day yesterday my nose was pouring and there's a scented garbage bags and evidently I just can't do it because my allergies are horrible. And um, so I they're sitting in my garage. I'm like, just get them out of my house. It's terrible. Snowing in Omaha. Oh my word. Hey, Wendy. Okay, so what you're gonna need is, this is actually a paper towel roll, but you can use the toilet paper tubes or you can use the paper towel. This is just a paper towel because I've been I've made several off of one tube, okay? But hey, Lindy. But like I said, you're gonna be addicted. So like me, because I'm 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 kind of obsessed. <laughs> so I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I've already kind of got one started because it takes a little while, depending on what yarn you use. Um, I have several of these skeins of yarn. Like this one's from the Dollar Tree, and the label looks like this. And they are they're just a dollar, and they have. Um, they have all these colors. So when I'm in there, I'll just pick up a couple because I never know. Um, oh, thank you, Natalie. I felt bad for myself too because I was pitiful. Um, thank you, my shirt's cute. Yes, it was in my shop, but it's not now. Yeah, my allergies are off the charts. Everybody says when you come to Memphis or around Memphis, your allergies are just so much worse, but uh, it's it's just bad. It was been bad the last couple of days, but I think it was those garbage bags that like started it. And once it starts, I have to just take some Benadryl and just go to bed and get it stopped, and then I'll be okay. Um, so anyway, so this Dollar Tree has these things of yarn, and I have like orange, purple, green, uh, blue. I have I just pick them up when I see them, and I've seen them lately, so I know they have them. And then they have this is just the regular little yarn, okay, worsted, whatever that means, and then they also have uh, this yarn, which is kind of a, it's a thicker yarn, and this is the tag that it, that came on it, but they have it at the Dollar Tree, and I have like um, this gray white color, I have this red, and I have the green, and I bought this Hey, Lori. Hey, Leslie. Probably a while back because I knew that Christmas was coming and that I would use it for something at Christmas, whether it's tying up gifts or whatever. Um, but it's a dollar. You can't beat it. I got cardboard on there. Um, so I like this thicker because this craft, it goes faster. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But that's the label. But if you look, they'll, they have them at the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so you take your... Uh, 
paper towel, um, toilet paper roll, whatever. And I'm going to mash it kind of flat so I can cut it. And I'm going to cut, uh, not quite, maybe, maybe a half an inch. Let me measure it and see because I know y'all are going to ask me. Yes, I cut about a half an inch wide, okay, like this. And y'all may have already made some of these. Um, so what you're going to do is cut that. And let's see. Let me pick which color I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do green because I've already got the red, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get my yarn out. And somebody please tell me that uses yarn. How do you find this, the end of the yarn? Is it in here? in the end or is it just on the outside because i always get the junior when your husband can't stand them i know and that's all they had at walmart today it was like they had none that were not sent it i'm like listen write the company i'm gonna email them and tell them no yarn in your your stuff your things okay so um i'm gonna measure i'm the kind of girl that i'm gonna cut it Longer than what I need. Hey, Casey. Hey, Bonnie. Um, hey, Becky. I'm going to cut more than I need. Just because I'd rather have too much than not enough. So, that's just how I do everything. So, I'm going to cut. This is 12 inches. I'm going to go a little bit more. So, I'm going to do like, um, I'm going I'm to go thir I'm gonna go about 13 inches. Okay? So, that's how long I'm cutting these. So, I'm going to sit here and talk to y'all. And it's in the middle. So, it's in that hole. Pull from the inside. See, that's what I thought, and I couldn't find it. And so I'm on the outside of the roll, and it's a hot mess, but I'm going to use a good bit of it. So, <laughs> um, supposed to be tucked in one of the ends. See, I knew y'all would know, but I'm not, a, I'm not a crocheter or knitter or anything like that. Even though, now look at that, y'all. That's in the middle of my, in the middle of my um, yarn ball. It's like it's been tied together. But, you know, it's in the Dollar Tree, so... <laughs> So, I'm going to cut that off. Looks like they tied it together. So, my garbage bag over here is a Walmart sack that's hanging from my table <laughs> instead of my big garbage can. The garbage can, I took the garbage can outside and it's been sitting on my back porch since Thursday. I couldn't, I could not take it. I was like, even the garbage can smelled like those bags and it just was killing my nose. Um, so, I'm going to cut a bunch, and I'll try to count and tell y'all how many I used, because I just do it until I fill it up. So, we're going to cut a few, and then we'll get started and have to cut some more. Hey, Deidre. Okay. So, I'm going to take my yarn that's about 13 inches long, and I'm going to try, I'm going to grab the center like this, and you can do this sitting on the couch, get you a little basket, put your yarn in it, whatever, and do this sitting on the couch while you're watching TV. That's what, I, I've done that this week. Um... So, uh, so I just double it up like that and find the center and then you're going to put it through your, your little tube and you're going to make a slip knot. So then you're going to tuck the end back into that loop. Okay. And then you're going to pull it tight like this, just like that. So it looks like this. So see how it's really fat and it, it goes pretty fast because it's, it's real thick yarn. So, I'm going to just do a few and talk to y'all. That tie is in a knot. Now, oh, is that supposed to be there? The knot in the middle of the roll? Never seen that before. Okay. So, I'm just doubling it up. And I take my loop. And you need to make them go the same way, okay? So, you want it, your knots all to be the same direction. Yeah, Natalie, I'm glad I'm not the only one, y'all, that those garbage bags, I'm telling you, they were the Glad for Breeze or something. I don't even know the scent because I didn't even look that close at it. But I didn't mean to buy them. Um, I did it on accident. And my husband's like, you know, you've done that one time before. And I'm like, I don't remember that. But um, probably because I was in a Benadryl stupor and I don't remember. <laughs> but I just have to take Benadryl and go to bed. But, like, my nose was raw and... I was sneezing my head off and my nose was like a faucet. So if you have bad allergies, oh, thank you, Teresa. If you have bad allergies, don't buy the, tra the scented trash bags. Good Lord. About as bad as that time I bought the scented toilet paper and it was lavender scented. I was like, oh. okay. 
So, so that's how much I've got so far. So see, it goes pretty fast if you have this fat yarn. Now, if you have the little yarn like this, I've already gotten this one started because it does take a lot more uh, to go. Let's see. Here's this yarn. It's, this, it's from Dollar Tree. And you could use any yarn you have. If you have that chenille yarn or you have any yarn, it would be cute. Um, I have this yarn and I want to try it with this. But okay, so that's that's this one with the little yarn, but it takes a lot more. So you can sit on the couch, and watch TV, and just sit there and slip them through there. It doesn't take um, cheap yarn. Usually has knots. Okay, well I didn't know that, so I just cut I cut it off. Okay, so you just kind of want to keep kind of pulling them tight and getting them on there. And so I'm doing the same thing. But you could you could make several of these <clears throat> while you're watching TV, you know, whatever, on the couch watching Hallmark movies or <laughs> Christmas movies or whatever. Okay, so let's see. So let me see how many this one is, and I'll so I can kind of tell you how many because I know somebody's gonna say how many did you do? No, it's well, it's an ornament. Yes, do y'all ready to see what it's gonna look like when we get done? Okay, y'all ready for the cuteness? Ready? Let me get him fluffed up. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing ever? <laughs> look how stinking cute he is. That's what he's going to look like. And here's a green one. I told y'all I've already made some. <laughs> I can't help it. They're so cute. Okay. And y'all sprinkle. And I'm going I'm to get, I'm gonna send somebody one of these that I'm making tonight. And I'm going to send somebody this. Um, I'll pick somebody for sprinkling. Um, that I'll send somebody that little applicator thing. Because that thing's wonderful. Because I buy them when I see them. And so I can give them away. Yes. And you could use this as a snowman hat. You could, um, you could make you a white puff ball like this. You could do it white. And do a snowman and put snowman uh, stuff on him. You made 50 in a week while watching TV. Whew, that's a lot. So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. That's nine so far. So see, it's nine and I'm over halfway, halfway done. But the little yarn takes a lot more. Thank you for the stars. Thank you, Vicky, for the stars. Okay. And y'all know I'm addicted to noms right now, so it's, uh, it's feeding my addiction. My best friend told me, she's like, you're making another nom tonight? She goes, oh my gosh, Lee, they're going to start taking over. But we're going to make a garland with them. I'm going to put them all together and make a garland with them and probably hang them on my tree, my crafty tree. So I'm just going to cut some more. So this is really simple, and I know y'all probably have some older kids or grandkids, and they could do this and make little hats, and they're so cute. But I do them two ways, because I do this one a little different than I do this fat yarn, and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about in just a second, because this one's about to be done. Thank y'all for sprinkling, because I'm going to send them to somebody. Can't find the silicone tool. Well, um, well, I see them, and I try to pick them up so I can pass along the love to y'all. But, yeah, I think a lot of people are buying them for that reason, but they're wonderful. Um, you could also use those the little spatulas they have over in the cooking section. The little, um, they're little spatulas. You can use those, too, that have the silicone. As long as they don't come to life. That's right, Lori. Because they... Um, if they do, I'm in trouble because I got a bunch. Certainly, they won't turn on me. I know they are they are adorable, and but like I said, you could do a snowman. Um, you could do these with mason jar rings, you know, the little metal ring part, and you can make them. They would be bigger, and of course, with the toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll, they're going to be um, they're going to be the same size. But the mason jar comes in the two sizes, and you could use those, uh, just the ring part, if you can find any right now. Um, a lot of people are canning food and stuff, but um, you could make two different sizes. What in the world's happening? Okay. You can make two different sizes with the mason jar rings. 
or if you got your tube inside your aluminum foil or something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pull them tight. And I could squeeze one more on there, but I'm not. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16, okay, on this one. Now, Lord knows how many this is because it's, it's smaller, so it's gonna take more. Okay, so these I do different because on the little ones, I'm gonna show you, I flip them inside out. But flipping this big yarn inside out, it doesn't look right because I've tried it and I'm like, that just don't look right. So I didn't flip it. Okay, so, so now we're going to take some stuffing, some polyfill or whatever. I got lucky. This bag came from Goodwill. It was a brand new bag and I got it for $1.99 for this whole bag. Um, <clears throat> some people go to Walmart or Dollar General and get um, a, just a cheap pillow, like a, just like a bed pillow, and then they cut it open and get the stuffing out because that's a lot cheaper than buying polyfill by the bag. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece just to, and I'm going to cut some about like this. And I'm going to lay out my, if y'all can see what I'm doing, I'm going to lay out my little hat, and I'm going to put this piece under there. And I'm going to tie it up about where I think the top of the hat should be or the pom-pom part. Move it down. And I'm just gonna tie it off really tight. And then I'll cut those off, just like that. So then you're left with this, okay? Now I'm gonna give it a haircut. And the little fibers are flying all in the air. I may even cut some more off. Look how cute it is. I think I'm gonna cut some more off of this. I'm just gonna kind of give it a little trim. I didn't know I was a beautician too, right? Can cut hair. <laughs> you don't want me cutting your hair. <laughs> oh goodness. Be like a little kid cutting your hair. It'd be terrible. Okay. Although I did cut my best friend's hair not too long ago on the back. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Okay, so there's that. So now we're going to take our little polyfill cotton. You can use cotton balls because it's not going to take a lot. I may not even use all of that. And I'm going to poke it down in the hat. And that's just going to give it a little, you could put paper probably up in there. It would be fine if you didn't have cotton balls. And then um, I might put a little more. I don't think I'm going to, well, I'm going to put a little more. But cotton balls would work too. Okay, Penny, you buy those? Yeah, I think they have some. Um, somebody, I saw somewhere where somebody said they're $2 at Dollar General, just the cheap one. Okay, so there's his little hat. Oh, fuzz. All right, so while we're still on hats, I'm going to show you, I'm going to finish this one and show you the difference. Because I went ahead before I came live and started doing this one. But see how the difference in the yarn, it's real thin. And then this is, um, you can see the difference. Okay, so you're going to have to have more of this, but <clears throat> um, but I know Michaels and Joann's and Hobby Lobby, they put their yarn on sale all the time. And like I said, this came from Dollar Tree. So you can, uh, these were a dollar if you happen to see it. But if y'all are crafters, y'all probably have yarn or know somebody that has some yarn. This one takes longer, but I'm just going to do the next few and then I'm going to show you the difference in how I do this one. I just can't do the same way with the big yarn because it's like fat and it looked really funny. <laughs> but I'm gonna flip it. Hey, Sharon. Thank you, Marsha, for sprinkling. Y'all sprinkle because I'm gonna send one of these little guys to somebody and that little applicator tool. Okay. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a big giveaway coming up because of Christmas. And because my birthday is right after Christmas and it's January the 4th. So I'm going to do a giveaway and it's probably going to go through most of January. Um, it's going to be a box of my favorite things. So I have been collecting and ordering from Amazon a box of all kinds of different crafting supplies that I use all the time. And um, thank you, Alice, for the stars. And I'm going to... Um, 
start, I'm going to give away that box pretty soon. So y'all will be seeing some information about that because I want to give back to you. It's the giving season and it's my birthday coming up. So <laughs> I just want to give back because y'all are all so, um, so good to me. And I just want to give back to all of you and bless somebody else. Okay. So I'm just doubling it up, sticking it through here. Now I'm going to show y'all the ones that I've made already. <laughs> well, some of them are partially made, but we got to make his beard. All right, I got to cut a couple more of these. Now see, these are really long, and I kind of could have made those a little shorter, but like I said, I'm just that girl that I'm going to make it longer than I think it needs to be because I can always cut it off. Kind of like, I guess, cutting hair. You cut a little bit, cut a little more because you can't, can't put it back on. And then I don't want to get through with my project after I've tied all these little boogers. And then they're all too short. Because I know y'all have all done that too. Probably been like, oh my goodness. It's too short. <laughs> kind of like you wrapping paper and you wrapping presents. And you get to the last present and you're like, oh, I don't have enough paper. It's too short. But then it's too short because I probably used too much on all the other presents. <laughs> I don't have any presents wrapped. I have very few bought <laughs> What is this one doing? Okay. I don't know what this one is doing. Where is it? Where did it go? There it is. You just got to pull them tight. That one's acting weird. Okay. That's just going to be the back. Okay. So I got it all the way around. All the way around. So I'm going to do... This one is different. <clears throat> because I'm going to take it. And I'm going to stick all of it through. Just like this. Okay, and you can try it with a thick yarn if you want to, but I did, and because this is the way it's supposed to be done. Um, but the thick yarn, it just it looked the knots looked funny down here. These these little knots made it look funny. Okay, so I got it all turned inside out. Get it all tight and straight. I haven't got any stragglers. Okay. So, see, that gives us, like, this little brim of his hat. Okay? So, now I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to tie this one off with... Let's do... This is... I got this Baker's Twine because it's got the turquoise in it, y'all. I love this Baker's Twine. It came from Walmart in the gift wrap section of the, um, the Christmas section. I was like, oh, it's got turquoise Baker's Twine. And I can't find the daggum end. I had the same trouble with the red. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to tie him up with some turquoise on the red. I think that's cute. All right. All right. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to tie it somewhere where I think, you know, the perfect size for his hat. Just like that. It'd be cute if you did a whole hat in this baker's twine. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be cute with the little stripes? But y'all, there's so many different kinds of yarn that you're, their possibilities are endless with this. You can make all different hats, all different colors. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off. See how much I'm cutting off? So yeah, I made them really long. So I'm just warning y'all, once you make one, you're going to want to make... 10. <laughs> so I'm just warning you. But look how stinking cute this hat is. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And I tried to find a Christmas ball, you know, like a um the little ornament. I was going to put one on an ornament and make a snowman face, but I couldn't I couldn't find the perfect size ornament for this to go on that I had. All the different ones from the Dollar Tree, I couldn't find one that it looked right on. So I made them into gnomes. Okay, so I'm poking up, poking my little polyfill inside of there. See, that just gives it a little, um, little structure where it's not so uh, flimsy looking. But is that not the cutest? Okay. Now we got to make. So I got these. Look how stinking cute! But look at the difference in the size. But see, if you try to tuck it in the side out like I did this one. These knots are end up down here, and it looks really funny. So I, I didn't, I took it apart and didn't do that. So um, 
the little ones you can flip inside out like that. Okay, so now we're just gonna make a pom pom, and I've got this. I have no white yarn, believe it or not. Um, so I had to use got that in my Walmart sack. I have to use this. I got this chenille yarn, and here's the wrapper. Let's see, it's over here somewhere. This is, I think it came, yep, yeah, it was on clearance because there's the yellow tag from clearance. It was on clearance at Walmart. Don't even say what it is. I tore off the part where it is. But it's some kind of chenille-like stuff, so it's bigger. But you can use white yarn. You can use this yarn, you know, for his beard. Any kind of yarn you want to. This is just what I had on the side of this that was looked like beard color, okay? Um... I know you're going to ask me this. <clears throat> this is three and a half by two and a half piece of cardboard. Oh, the clear balls. I don't have any clear balls. Okay. So, <clears throat> and y'all have made pom-poms before, I'm sure. And you're just going to wrap it around. Two, three, I did 30. I want to make him, make him a good full pom-pom. Okay, so then I'm just going to cut that off. These are lots of fun to make too if you don't, had never made pom-poms, they're fun. So then you just take your cardboard and you slide it off. And I'm going to cut a piece of this for our center. And then you're going to lay it down. And you're going to place your little bundle on top of that. And then you're going to tie a knot. Like that. Let me tie it one more time. And then you're just going to cut all your loops. I'm sure y'all have made these. But this would be cute if you did white and then did a little snowman and cut you some pieces of felt and made a little nose and some eyes and put the little hat on a snowman. He would be so stinking cute. Uh, just like this. You just go through there and cut all those little loops like that. And I always miss some, so I have to... <laughs> Go back and find them. And then we'll give it a haircut too. So I'm just going to do like that. Get it all fluffed up and cut my... But this chenille, and it looks really cool because it was like kind of variegated looking stuff. And so it turns out really cute um, as a beard. But if you have white, white would be so cute for a gnome or a snowman. You can make a Santa Claus. There's some loops I missed. <laughs> um, you can make a little Santa Claus with this hat. Give him some little eyes and or googly eyes or whatever, and the kids could do it. Okay. I'm going to have yarn confetti. Okay, so there's our little pup ball. Here's our little hat. Isn't it cute? So see how cute it is? <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, so like I said, you can sit on the couch and make these and make these as many as you want and then string them all together and make a garland. It'd be so cute. Okay, so I'm going to load my hot glue up around here and we're going we're gonna to marry the two together somehow, some way. And then I'm just going to stick it on there. Oh, you're doing white right now? Oh, cool, Lori. So you're making some? They're addicting. I'm just going to tell you. Thank you, Nancy, for sprinkling. They're very addicting. <laughs> I'm going to show you all the ones that I have made or started here in just a minute. <laughs> y'all don't judge. Don't judge me. Because <laughs> it's like once I find something I like, I just can't stop making them. Are y'all that way too? I bet y'all are. Creative people are usually that way. You find something you like and it's like you just, you just want a whole army of them. They're so cute, but how cute would that be hanging on a present or on somebody's stocking or just to give somebody as an ornament? Let me go back and put some more glue. And this is just regular hot glue. It's Gorilla Glue, but it's, you know, nothing special. No fabric glue. It's just the regular hot glue. Hey, Susan from North Dakota. Oh, I bet it's cold up there. I know these are so cute. All right. So now this part... Where did my 
I got so much yarn and stuff on this table, I've lost everything. Okay, so y'all seen me use these before. They're the split balls, or you could use just the wood beads, or if you have that, um, that clay that I use for the salt shaker snowman, you could make noses out of clay and let them dry and paint them, you know, just a flesh tone, and you can make noses out of that. Um, so however you want to do it, um, you can use, like I said, you can use the bead, or you could use the little split ball. Either would work, or like I said, the clay. You could make um, make noses out of that clay if you don't have any beads. But I'm just gonna glue this little split ball right here and give them a nose and get it set right there. Isn't it cute? <laughs> How stinking cute is that? Hang them on people's presents. And they'll get an ornament and they'll get uh, a present too. Oh, purple and gold for LSU. Is the LSU winning? They were playing earlier. I didn't know if I didn't ever see the score or the end or <sighs> made some tiny bells. Yes, I'm I got some jingle bells I'm probably gonna glue on there. I think I was more than 30, but I didn't, I wasn't counting in the beginning. <laughs> so I just kind of guesstimated. Same thing. I wrapped it around and now I'm going to um, slide it off. And I have pom-pom makers. I just kind of do this the old fashioned way. I didn't just, I didn't even get them out. Okay. So I'm just going to cut a piece. Same thing. Lay it down. Put your bundle in the middle. And we're gonna tie it up. Okay, now I'm gonna cut my loops. Give it a little haircut and we'll have a beard. But yeah, can you believe I don't even have any white? I like I was digging through my little bin. I was like, I know I gotta have white yarn. Nope, no white yarn. Cause I was gonna do a snowman and I didn't have any white. LSU's winning. Oh, thank you, Lori. You're so sweet. I have seen these hats for a long time. I just never have done them. And then I saw the girl on TikTok do it. And I was like, oh, I got to make some. And then I made some. And then I was like, oh, I got to show them. Of course, I had to share it with y'all, all my, my craft and addiction, so y'all can be addicted like me. <laughs> so I'm going to put his little beard on, same way. And somebody's probably going, oh, I got that yarn from the Dollar Tree. I bought some, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Well, here you go, right here. Easy peasy. Go LSU from Louisiana. <laughs> I'm a kind of a roll tide person, but I won't say that out loud. <laughs> I make it look so easy. Oh, Sandy, you could do this. I promise you can. Welcome, Nancy. I see Nancy. Somebody's new. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. You like listening to me? <laughs> okay, so there's his little beard. He's shedding. There he is. It just looks like a hat with a puff ball until we add his little nose. So, well, there's a loop that I forgot. No? Okay. It was just curled under there. So, let's put his little nose on. Bama is going to win next week. It, I think I'm not really an avid college football watcher person. I mean, I like college football better than any other football. I'm not too big on the NFL. Roll Tide from Tuscaloosa. Roll Tide. Okay. Look how stinking cute. Okay. So, see, like, you can take jingle bells. Like, I have these little jingle bells. 
I think I'm gonna glue a couple up here to his little hat. You can embellish them however you want to. Um, like I have these little snowflakes I've showed y'all a hundred times. You could put them on their hats. Be so, so stinking cute. And easy. I promise y'all, y'all can do this. All my crafts are all, and you're so sweet. Look. Look how, see his little jingle bells? <laughs> You get jingle bells at the Dollar Tree, too. By the hundreds, <laughs> you'll never run out of jingle bells. But look how stinking cute he is. Okay, so I got to show you my my whole little clan I got. Um, I have some that I haven't made beards for. So I have this hat. And so um, I have this. I have made a beard for it, but I haven't done it yet. So that's going to be cute, just that gray looking color. Um, then I have another red. And I have another little red. <laughs> and I have another green. I'm telling y'all, I kind of got crazy. And then I have another red. Look at this one. Ha -ha -ha. That one's going to be pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put... Where's my... Oh, here it is. Y'all do the same thing as me. Y'all... You lay something down and you're like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And it's right there in front of your face. Kind of like your scissors. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to do bake red baker's twine on this one. Isn't it cute? This, of course, I had to have a blue turquoise, turquoise looking one. I thought it was cute. But I've got hot pink and purple and all kinds of different colors of yarn. This would be so cute on a little girl's tree and have all their hats different colors. It would be so stinking cute. Or, I mean, you could, like, set these little dudes on a tiered tray. And just set them on a little tiered tray. It'd be precious. You could do a lot of stuff with them. Not just for Christmas. Look how much, how much too long I cut that one. <laughs> a good inch or so. Let's see. Sometimes you kind of kind of cut at an angle like this to get it to the pom-pom to look right. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fuzz. I have an army. I told y'all, and I'm probably not done. I'll probably make some more. So y'all just go ahead and don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. I love them. I think they're cute. It doesn't take much to make me happy. Uh oh, I like to bust it out the side on that one. Stick it back in there and fix it. Okay. I think I put too much stuff in there. <laughs> Fix it back here. That's just going to be the back. Why is it doing that? Maybe I didn't get them close enough together. I don't know. Okay. So there's the little blue one. I think I'll go ahead and put this beard on the blue one. Isn't that going to be cute? He's all ready for winter. I mean, I just like load the glue up. Yes, that's what I like about them, too. You can make them for any kind of um, uh, season. You can do different colors. Oh, you want to... Here, I'll hold this up so you can screenshot it. That's how big I made the pom-pom for his beard. And that should work because, I mean, I'm sure your toilet paper or your paper towel tubes are the same size as mine. So, yeah, so that's, that's how wide my cardboard is. And, of course, you wrap it long ways, not sideways, long ways. <laughs> Janice, you're going to have a whole army, too? So, y'all just post them in the group. And I want to see everybody's little um, gnome, pom-pom uh, gnome's uh, army. Okay, let me find a split ball. Let's do that. So, I have, like, a bunch. <laughs> I don't even know how many I have. Let's see. Let me hold his little nose on. Oh, Lou, yeah, you'll have to come back and see the beginning. Look how cute. And they're just so simple. But like I said, if you don't have the beads or the, the uh, little split balls, you can make it out of that clay. If you bought the clay to make the gnomes that I taught y'all and the salt and pepper shaker snowman, 
if y'all have that clay, you can make little, make little balls and let them dry. And it would be the same thing. But look how stinking cute. Okay, so what I'm thinking, now I haven't tried this part, so I don't know. And I may wait till I make some more to kind of get this done. Because some of them have the little yarn. And then some of them have the big fat yarn. So I don't know if I should mix them. Or if I should do them all like in the big yarn or all in the small yarn. Because I still have a few more to make. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to take a probably a needle, a big needle. And I'm going to run my jute or whatever through his hat. And somehow uh, secure him. And I'm going to have a whole string of them. So I'm going to post that when I get that done. Tribes from Tribbles. Tribbles from Star Trek. Is that what that said? Tribbles? A button nose. Yes, Elizabeth. See, that would be cute. And if you did a snowman, do the little puffball white and do a snowman and you could cut out a little um, triangle out of some kind of fabric or felt and stick it on and little eyes. It would be so cute. Hey, Genia. Gonna make one of your shim trees tomorrow. Oh, good, Rhonda. I want to see them. You need to post them in the in the group. If y'all aren't following or a member of the free group, um, it's called the Turquoise Valentine's uh, Crafters Reveal, and that's just a page where everybody can post their um, crafts they make and ask questions if you need help with something. Um, so y'all go join that because there's a lot of talented people in there, and some of the stuff that they do is just phenomenal. Okay. I'm going to try to make one out of this. I tried it I tried it a minute ago. I was going to do it first. This is like this. Uh, this is called Gopher Faux. I made uh, the little wreath out of the mason jar lids out of this. It's real fuzzy yarn. It's real, real soft. Um, it comes from Walmart. Joann's has it. I cut that one too small. So if I, I don't have enough room to like tie his... Um, tie around his hat so I'm gonna make one of these real quick and see what it's gonna look like because I love this yarn okay so this is not quite 12 so I'm gonna do 13 again I cut it too short so I'm gonna do one out of this hey hats would work on yeah oh the light bulbs that would be awesome if you put it on a light bulb yes because it would be perfect over that top part over the little part that's got the um the threads on it that screws into the socket yeah y'all sprinkle because i'm gonna i'm gonna mail one of these little guys i made to somebody and that little applicator i'm gonna pick somebody and announce the winner of that part that giveaway but it probably is not gonna take near as many of this because it's so fat compared to like this so see the difference? So it's probably not going to take near as many as this. But this hat is going to be adorable. Will I post a link? A link to the group? If you go to my main page, um, it should be... This is hard to do because you can't see how tight your knot is because it's so furry. Um, if you go to my main page, the Turquoise Valentine on Facebook, then you should have... Um, It'll be, down, scroll down a little bit, and there'll be a, a link for the actual, the group. And you can join the group. Thank you, Melissa, for sprinkling. I have some light bulbs like that too, Candice. Um, with the, made with a snowman. But look how stinking cute this is. So I'm just doing the same thing. Just looping it back. Yeah, it's not going to take near as many, but this is going to look like a little, he's going to have a fur hat on. He's from Antarctica. He's going to be, he's a gnome from Antarctica up in the, the big snow, where the big snow people live. Eskimo gnome. But I love this yarn. And this stuff crawls. It feels like a, like a cat, like a rabbit. If you ever petted a rabbit before, it's exactly what it feels like. It's so soft, and it just crawls in your hands. But it is more expensive, but look how pretty that is. I love this yarn. But if you didn't see the wreaths that I made back in July, Christmas in July, I took this, and I wrapped it around uh, mason jar rings and made a wreath 
and put little, uh, you know, embellished it with little pearls and different kinds of things. And they were so stinking cute. So it's, it's in July. So if you'll go back to July, you can see that video. This is definitely a challenge. I can't, because I can't tell how tight my knot is because I can't see it. It's all blends together. This one goes really fast because it's not many. Okay. One more. From Walmart last year, it was on clearance. Yes, they are cute. I'm telling you, you're going to be addicted. <laughs> One's not going to be enough for you, I promise. The whole family's going to have a gnome. <laughs> Eskinome. There you go. That's so funny, Terry. Eskinome. Okay. Look how, look how fuzzy it is. Oh gosh. <laughs> but it's going to be cute. It's going to be, it's going to be full. <laughs> and let's see, what should I tie it up with? Jute. Let's do some jute. Since he's, he's out in the woods and he's kind of a, he's kind of roughing it in the snow with his, with his hat. Making up stories about these little people that don't even exist. I'm just, I'm crazy like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, make a regular size gnome with the mason jar lid. Sure would. <sighs> and I cut these too long, but like I said, I'd rather have too much. Look at it. <laughs> I'd rather have too much than not enough. I had no idea how this was going to turn out, but. This is gonna be fur everywhere. It's giving it, it's really giving it a haircut because it's like hair. Okay. <laughs> Y'all is flying everywhere too. Look how stinking cute his little hat is. So I'll have to make a bigger pom pom for this one. Cute. So see, just imagine that it's on, it's on there. You can't even tell where the hat starts and his beard starts. <laughs> they had to have a backstory. That's right. I have to tell like a little story about them. And, um, cause you know, they all have their own little personality. So I'm going to have to make a big beard for this one. <laughs> it looks like a big blob of, of cat hair or something. <laughs> tell us a story. That's right. This one, and you can't, this is hard to work with because you can't tell what's happening. Like what's, it's just all blends together and it's just this big wad of fur. Okay. We'll start worrying when I start naming them. I'll, I'll start naming them. I'll start naming them. I'm gonna poke some fur, some stuff down in his hat. He's gonna be, um, He's going to be a nomad gnome. I don't know if there's such thing as that. Isn't that pretty, though? This stuff is so soft. And I should have got those wreaths, but I kind of just sat on that last minute. Y'all, look. Looks like I shaved a cat. It's like the cat hair from the, the Christmas vacation rug I did. <laughs> that cat had nine lives. He just spent them all. <laughs> Hadn't seen it on this week, though. Let me put that over here. Oh, I want to vacuum. All right. So there's this guy. Stuff's flying in the air everywhere. Damn. I know y'all are going to make these and I cannot wait to see. So yeah, if you sprinkle, tell me that you sprinkled and I will pick someone and I will send a cute, cute little guy to uh, your house. But are they not so cute? Look, don't, don't judge. <laughs> Don't be judging. <laughs> you'll laugh and you'll make one and then you'll have 25 before you know it. But isn't that just the cutest? Look at the little jingle bells on their hat. You could put, um, you could put a little snowflake. Let me glue this little snowflake to this one's hat. Because I just got to. I think I had a 55 of these, 100 of these little snowflakes because they, um, I've been using them for years, and I still have them. Hot gluing it on there. <laughs> Isn't it cute? 
just get all creative with them and just add stuff to them and embellish their hats and tie their hats up with different string and see how many different ways you can make them because uh, you're going to have a bunch, I promise. You're going to have more than me, probably. Because uh, I still have this one to make and I still have this one to make. So, But I'm going to string them together and I'm going to make like a garland and probably put on my Christmas tree, my crafty Christmas tree. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of my crafty Christmas tree when I get it all finished. Because, um, you know, I keep adding stuff to it. Every time I make stuff, I add stuff to it. And there's some ornaments on there people have sent me. Um, happy mail ornaments people have made and sent me. And um, I, um, I hung all those on the tree and all my stuff I've made on the tree. Um, you're just out to, Mandy, go get you some empty to paper towel roll, toilet paper rolls. Because I know y'all got some because everybody's buying all the toilet paper again. So <laughs> somebody's got toilet paper rolls somewhere. Oh, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. They're going to take over my house, Candace. I know. I, um, I have a lot. I have a lot of gnomes in my whole Christmas decor. I used to love snowmen. I still love snowmen. But the gnomes have kind of, this year is like, woof. They are, they are like the center of my whole stuff. Yes, a garland would be so cute. If I just, I'm going to figure out how to space them and make them stay there and then hang them up. Remind me of my granddaughter's poppy doll. I don't know what a poppy doll is, but I bet it's cute. <laughs> yes, but can you see these hanging on your presents of your, your kids or your grandkids? They would love them. How could you not think this is cute? Miss Nancy that's on here, Nancy Taylor, she, she didn't like gnomes. And um, they've grown on her now because I've made her like gnomes. <laughs> I forced it on her. I'm like, you gotta, gotta like them. They're just so cute. You need more yarn. <laughs> yes, Amanda, I will, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to string them up and then I will show them to y'all. How to make the beards. Pam, I took a piece of cardboard that big, three and a half by two and a half inches. And then I took this yarn and I made a pom-pom. Like, I held it up this way, and I wrapped 30 times is how many I did. But this is like a chenille-type yarn. It's a little thicker. That's all I had. I didn't even have white. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. I did it thirty times, just to get to get this size, and that size, you know, works well for me for the to the the toilet paper tubes. You didn't like them now, and you and you did, and you didn't like them, and now you do, Patsy. Okay, so I wrapped it around like that, just like a pom pom, and just cut another piece of it. And then I wiggle this off of my cardboard. Got my little bundle. And then I lay it on that string, the piece that I cut. And tie it in the middle. Twice. Just tie you a knot in the middle. Like that. And then you just take your scissors and you just cut through the loops on each end like this. And you get a pom-pom. Just like that. Easy peasy. But I know there's probably grandkids and kids and everybody would love to do this. And then you just kind of roll it together and you have a pom-pom. And then you can give it haircut. I get to be a beautician. Thank you, Sarah, for the stars. I get to be a beautician. There's one I missed. Like that. That's, his, that's what his little beard is. And then I, let's see, that's not going to be big enough for this one. Say it's not going to be big enough. I need to make it bigger. <laughs> that looks like one of those hats. What are those hats called? The, um, 
over in England, they had those big hats, the big black hats that, um, where did I get the gray and white yarn? It came from Walmart. It was on clearance because here's the edge of the sticker that was clearance. I picked it up on clearance at Walmart a while back and I just had it in my stash. But it's, and the part that tells you what it is is not even here. But it's some kind of, um, it's like a chenille color. But I know Walmart has tons of different yarns and Joann's and Michael's. Styrofoam balls. But uh, I know um, Dollar Tree has this gray, too. This is a Dollar Tree uh, yarn. And then this is kind of a light gray. You could use this, too, as, a, as his beard. I just wanted white, and I didn't have white. So I just thought this would be interesting. So I just um, did that. But <laughs> this looks like one of those... You don't talk about those big hats that the... Those soldier guys or whatever they wear, they're puffy looking. That's what it looks like. But yeah, I need to make I need to make uh, his beard like really white or something to go with this one. A tassel instead of pump. Yeah, you could do that with a tassel. That would look really cool too. Like with um, make a tassel and hang down. That would be cool. Everyone needs to update your homepage. Yeah, if, if Facebook is doing weird stuff, I don't know what they're doing. Um, so if you've if you have followed um, my you know my page, and you you make sure your notifications are turned on because they have like reset stuff, and um, you may not get your notifications. So see how long I cut those. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue him, glue his beard on. So let me find some yarn. Where's the green? Let's tie him up with green. I've got a hot mess on this. Bee feeders? Is that what they're called? A fez? Yeah. Something like that. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Them big old furry hats that they wear. They Looks like they got a buffalo hat thing on their head or something. I don't know. Um, bee feeders or something. Whatever that is. <laughs> Russian. There's, yeah. Where they're walking with their legs all, you know, y'all know. They look like toy soldier people or something. Russian Cossack hats. Yeah. That's what that reminds me of or something kind of like it because it's, it's puffed out <laughs> real fast. Okay, so I am... Oh, but notifications. If you tap my face, then those little dots will probably come up in the corner up here. And you can... It'll say, turn on notifications for when she goes live or something to that effect. And make sure you have them turned on. Thank you, Joanne, for the stars. Look how long I cut those extra. But better that than too short. I'll fix this one. See, I gotta finish the ones I've already done. I got all happy when I started making them. <laughs> okay. Whew. So there's his hat. Let me have some cotton. So you could probably, um, like I said, cotton balls would work. Dollar Tree sells cotton balls. You could use cotton balls or tissue or whatever up in his hat. It just gives it that little bit of stability. And then I'll glue him on. I need a glue stick. Also notifications after you're following someone, click blue following. Yes. Sometimes it depends on if you just like the page or if you're actually following the page. It's... It's different. I don't know why it's different. It's the same, but different. <laughs> so see, look how much glue I put down in there. I put a boatload. And I'm going to stick it down in here. Oh, yeah, they would make cute owls, Lynn. Just watch the replay. <laughs> yes, Jill, those soldiers that guard the palace in England and the Russian ones too. Yes, the soldiers on the Wizard of Oz. There we go, see? Y'all know, that's what it looks like. Some kind of dun, 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 dun. I don't know. <laughs> I got to get me some white yarn now to make his beard, make his uh, beard with. Or some brown or something like that. That's going to be different than the hat. But he definitely needs a, um, he needs like a, a, a forest twig or something up here on his hat. Like some kind of a woodsy looking, um, 
thing. Oh, you saved your wrapping paper rolls? That would be good, too. The little inside part. And some of those are bigger. Okay, so there, there's that. See, I did green up here on his, his little um, tie. But you could just get all different with them all. And they all have their own little personality. But they're so simple. Bambushka? Somebody's gonna look it up. Beef eaters. Why are they called beef eaters? That sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Okay. Oh, black would be cool, Candace. Yes, black would be cool. I might have to try the black. Look how cute. See how easy that was? Just very simple. Like I said, you can sit on the couch and watch TV and pump out a whole bunch of hats and beards and then just put them all together. And they're so stinking cute. And tie them all to your little presents under the tree. My, I can't do that because my dogs would be like, oh, it's a toy. <laughs> and have it shredded up in about five minutes. I bought, um, I have a Yorkie. Um, Y'all have seen pictures of them before. And um, like two Christmases ago, I found the cutest little Grinch little uh, dog toy at Petco or somewhere. Well, I brought that little Grinch home. He was so stinking cute, lime green and red. And I was like, look, Bella, I got you a little Grinch. That Grinch had a short life, y'all, because, <laughs> because uh, in a matter of about like 10 minutes, he was missing an arm and all the stuff and was coming out of him. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> you just tore up the Grinch. He was cute. She has toys that she doesn't tear up. And she tore him slam up. I was like, this little $5 toy, and you just shredded it in a matter of minutes. I'm like, what? That poor Grinch. And my, my husband was holding him going, well, he lived a good life. <laughs> it was real short. So, anyway. <laughs> Y'all laughing. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I actually saw, saw the, I've seen the hats before, but I saw the actual gnomes on TikTok, and I was like, mm, I'm doing that. And I can't remember the girl's name. Your fur baby would tear them up too. Yeah, mine too. Oh, these are um, these are called. I get them on Amazon, and they're called split balls. I don't have one. I think I've used them all that I had out. But it's it's half of a ball. It's just a flat part. But you could use you could use wood beads like that. You could do the same thing. Or you could use um, if you have some of that clay that I've used before. You could make your own noses and glue them on. Uh, a button. You could use anything like that for the nose. Um, hey, Betty. You can watch the replay, but this is a pom-pom out of this yarn. And I made the hats out of yarn and a toilet paper tube. She, yeah, she didn't like them, Elizabeth. She tore up the Grinch, and he was just cute as he could be. She tore him all up. Thought she was so proud of herself. Look, there's two loops right there that I missed. Nope, just one. Nope. I keep thinking there's a loop, but there was one. But look how cute. Amazon, yeah, they're called split balls. Um, so they come in different sizes. And I think this size is, this bag, um, I can post a link to them. But this bag has little ones like this. And then it has the size that I just used. And I think that's, I have to measure it and see. Then they have, they have all different sizes. And then there's even bigger ones. But I use them for all kinds of stuff. They'll be in the box of my favorite things that I'm going to give away too. Yeah, I can post the link again. These are, all right, let's see. How many, I'm not good with millimeters, y'all. It is... These are 20 millimeters. The ones I used on him. They're 20 millimeters. This is 15. So it's a little bit smaller, which would be fine. See, it's just a little smaller. I can't hold it up there. Oh, it's stuck to the glue. But that's, it's a little smaller. But this bag has like three different sizes. It has 25, 20, and 15. But I can post a link to that too. 
yes, Amy, if you'll go and watch, um, I'll show y'all one more time. So I cut my yarn about 13 inches like this. I'll cut my toilet paper tube, uh, wrapping paper tube. This is a paper towel tube. Because you can get a whole bunch. I've made all of these out of one paper towel tube. Um, about like that, like a half an inch. This is 13 inches. And I take the, the loop like this. And I put it through. And then pull all this back through here. And just pull it tight. Like that. And it takes about, I can't remember how many I told y'all it took. Like that. So you do a whole bunch all the way around. I can't remember. 14 or 13 of them or something like that all the way around. And then you tie it up like this and cut it. And I put some polyfill inside, but you could use cotton balls or tissue or whatever. And then I glued the pom-pom to the hat. And that's how I did that. <laughs> you think you'd like the big honker bead? Let's see. Oh. Um, I'm going to send somebody one of these, but look, yeah, this is how it would look with the big honker nose. That would look actually pretty cute. That wouldn't look that bad. Let's see if I can get it to sit up there. That's cute. You get them at Hobby Lobby? I have never seen, well, I take that back. I think I have seen them at Hobby Lobby. But you get a better deal like this, a big bag of them. So look how cute. How can you not smile at that? It's so thinking cute. <laughs> Lynn, yes. We're going to be in the gnome psych ward. Just give us some yarn and some some split balls and some paper towel tubes and we'll make a whole a whole bunch. Oh, thank you, Pam. You're so cute. You're so sweet. I was reading and talking at the same time. Teresa, I didn't push these back through because it's this fat yarn. I pushed through, hold on, there's one over here that I haven't done, I think, or maybe I did it. Um, I pushed through the ones that have the little yarn on it. Look, it's showing. I didn't get them tight enough. But anyway, but the ones, the ones that have the little yarn, I did push it back through, and it makes that brim. But when I push this back through, I'll show you. It doesn't look good. You want a big bag like mine. How long is the yarn? I cut mine 13 inches. And that's a lot extra because I cut off about this much when I cut the pom-pom. But I like to have, um, I like to cut more than I need because you can always cut it off. But I hate to get through a project and go, oh, I cut it all too short. Okay, I'm going to show you. When I pulled the fat yarn back through, you're left with these knots. And they're, it's hard to get them back to the inside. But you see, it doesn't look as clean on the edge. And you might could work with it, but I wasn't patient enough to do that. <laughs> so I didn't flip these, the ones that have the big yarn. But that's what it looks like. See how the knots are there? Yes, but the, for Valentine's, they would be cute too. And you could set them on your tiered trays just like that. They're so cute. Or you could even glue them to a body if you wanted to put a body on them. So anyway, so that I didn't flip the big ones, but I did flip the little ones. I did flip these because it works better because it's smaller yarn. Look at this little snowflake. He's all ready for the snow. It's fuzz everywhere. Is that how to do the acorn one? This one? <laughs> I don't know. I got to figure out his beard. I got to work on him. It's going to have to be some black or a brown confused on what day it is i'm on the wrong day to because yesterday i was not feeling good my um my sinuses and my allergies were driving me crazy <laughs> yeah lynn we're gonna be locked up it's gonna be a whole bunch of us locked up together so if they come get us for making too many knowns all right guys well i'm gonna hop off and i hope that y'all enjoyed this I hope I see a whole bunch. Um, yeah, we got to make reservations, Nancy. That's right. Um, so we'll get a good spot. Um, I hope y'all, I hope I see a bunch of these in the group because I know y'all are going to um, 
run with this. And I can't wait to see, like somebody said, the variegated yarn for the hats and stuff. I can't wait till I see what y'all do. Um, yeah, you could use the mop strings and make a hat too, or a pom-pom. Fuzzy yarns make the best pom-pom. Yes, this probably make a good pom-pom. Mop strings. Yeah, I might have to do a beard in this. That would be cute. Make a beard. Where's one? I don't have one that don't have a hat. I think glued to it. Yes, I do. So, like, yeah, if, they were, if this was his beard, that would be cute, wouldn't it? I like to, I would like to make some in all the neutrals, just like the white and the brown and just the grays. It would be so pretty. Oh, thank you, Cherise. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and um, I will post a picture of my gnomes, but I'll definitely post a picture when I get them strung up together. I'll probably work on that tomorrow. Thank you, Judy, for validating. You can't have too many gnomes. Because I if, if there is, they just need to come get me now because I have way too many. <laughs> See, look, I even have cups. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Reserve a spot for you. Okay, Lori, we're going to have a sign-up sheet for the list of everybody who wants to be together in the psych, gnome psych ward. <laughs> yep. Oh, thank you, Teresa. You're so sweet. I cannot wait to see what y'all do with them. Because it's like, I make something, and then the next time I know, I see it in the group, and I'm like, what? It's crazy. Behavioral health in Tupelo. Okay, well, you, Bobby, you call and you sign us up. Because <laughs> we, we're going to be there. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going. And I hope y'all have a good rest of the weekend, a good weekend. And um, I will see y'all, I guess, Monday night. And I'm going to try to come on some more next week, too. Because I'm kind of, I'm caught up and everything's good. And I can, I can uh, probably craft a lot more. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. Thank y'all for watching. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye.